My name's Aaron Matthew. I'm a civil engineer with Transport for London, and I'm talking to you at, from the Institute of Civil Engineers outside the Invisible Superhero Exhibition, right behind me in the library. I want you to imagine a city. This city has sky-high property rates, a really busy transport network, and a huge monument to Queen Victoria. You may be thinking about London, my own hometown, but instead I'm going to tell you about a project you might never have heard of in Kolkata, India, and it's called the East-West Project. Starting off as a collection of Mughal fishing villages on the eastern edge of the subcontinent, Kolkata eventually became the capital of British-controlled India in 1772. Growing up, my parents have always told me that Kolkata was the hotbed of uh, Indian independence and the Indian independence movement. And because of that, the British moved the capital to Delhi in 1911. In those turbulent years, an engineer by the name of George Turnbull became an associate of the Institute of Civil Engineers at only 19. He studied and worked under the great Skempton, who's uh, emblazoned on this, this institution's walls. He went on to build Howrah Station in India, which is currently the biggest complex uh, train station in India. Following independence, the Indian government realized the capacity had been met in Kolkata, and they needed to extend the already aging uh, infrastructure for Indians, and so built the North-South Railway, which was at the time India's first underground metro and that serviced the city and met demands. But however, as the years have gone on, the city's demands have got even more difficult and increasingly there's not enough road space. So what the government have done now is build uh, the East-West uh, Metro, which I call the Crossroad of the East, to meet growing passenger demand. The line will connect Howrah uh, to the east of the city and to the new IT hub. And would con it would pass under the Hooghly River making it India's first underwater metro crossing. Much like Crossrail, the Kolkata Metro used two 450-ton TBMs to tunnel underneath the city, minimizing disruption on the road and, and the st linking, linking six stations that were underground with six stations that were at an elevated level. And these stations were built using a cut and cover technique. Working at Transport for London, a lot of what we're doing is the, is the same as what is happening in Kolkata, helping cities grow and reducing congestion across this city for, to improve the lives of others. Learning from the legacy of the engineers that came before me, both Indian and English, I've learned an incredible amount. I think engineering is fantastic because you learn so much about the legacy of different types of engineers from across the world and you use that knowledge to really impact people's lives every single day. The East-West Kolkata Metro has been impacting thousands of lives every single day, reducing congestion across a city that is the 13th most populous in the world. And the work I do every single day fills me with immense happiness that I'm making Londoners' journeys a little bit easier.